<coughs> Hello everyone. Today we are going to see a very important topic called permutation and combination. In this topic, let's try to have a very simple methodology that permutation means nothing that is arrangement, combination means nothing that is selection. Here, a question was given in the TCS Ninja. Yes, this type of question was given in TCS in 2019 in the ninja drive okay here he told that this is point a and this is point b he is asking you how many shortest possible ways a person can travel from a to b okay so let's try to have a very simple method of this thing here we have got a grid of 2 by 2 this is a and this is b so in order to find out the shortest path we know that this is not the shortest path the longest one the shortest one comes here one this is we call two this is the third one this is the fourth one and we see that here we can come in the fifth method and here six now we can understand that the number of ways a person can travel from point a to point b is six ways so instead of counting all these ways in an oral manner we can have a very simple formula for this the number of shortest path from one corner of the grid to another corner is m plus n factorial upon m factorial n factorial where m and n describes the size of the grid here in this you have got two rows and in this you have got two columns so we can say that m value is 2 n value is 2 so using these two we can just try to find out the shortest path here 2 plus 2 factorial upon 2 factorial 2 factorial that is 2 plus 2 that is 4 factorial upon 2 factorial 2 factorial which makes 24 upon 2 into 2 which makes here 6 ways so we can say very clearly the number of shortest path possible is what 6 ways so instead of counting all these things orally we can just try to use this formula in order to find out now same concept is applied over here if a person wants to join from sorry if a person wants to travel from point a to point b in a shortest path so we can't say that this is the shortest path this is the longest the shortest path comes like this or like this in many ways in order to find out all these things we should know the size of the grid let me show you here one two three four five so the number of columns are five and the rows one two three four the number of rows are four so we can say the size of the grid is m cross n that is four cross five okay now using the same thing we can just find out now what's that everybody m that is four 4 plus 5 factorial upon 4 factorial 5 factorial that is 9 factorial upon 4 factorial 5 factorial okay so 9 factorial can be written as 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 factorial upon this is 24 and this is 5 factorial these two will get cancelled okay now let's try to have here 6 table 6 ones are 6 4 is a 24, 4 1s are 4 2s. So here we have been left with 9, 2, and 7. In case we just try to calculate here 9 into 7, that is 63, 63 and into 2, that is 126 ways. So we can say that 126 ways a person can travel from one corner to the another corner. This is one of the easiest and the fastest way. So students have to remember this kind of things. For more TCS and gate questions, you can just subscribe our channel. Thank you.